Hey guys, welcome again to Transwest Truck Trailer RV. We're located, guys, in Frederick, Colorado. Just 30 minutes from Denver International Airport. <clears throat> Depending on traffic, it could be a little bit sooner. Um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. I got this beautiful red truck behind me, and for all those loving our summit haulers, I want to thank you guys for your business. And hopefully this year, we could earn more of your business, and for all the newcomers, hopefully you could gain interest in a unit like this. And of course, this is a 2023 Freightliner M2106 Summit Hauler Conversion. <clears throat> and if you guys don't know, Summit Hauler is a brand here at Transwest in Frederick, Colorado. We started building those trucks since 2006, 2007. So it's been a long time we've been out here building and conversion, convert, converting those uh, Freightliner trucks into Summit Haulers. So we're gonna go over some of the features, some of the stuff we do here um, with Summit Hauler and some of the things to expect in the future as well. So. With no further ado, guys, this is one of my favorite colors. I love red, and that Viper Red is one of my favorites. <clears throat> we build a few of those every year, and this one is one of our last of our 23s in red, in Viper Red, that is. Um, some of the things that we do different, or what we do with Summit Hauler, is that we design our uh, grills from the C9 company, but we do a three-piece grill so we do the top end here with the Summit Hauler logo. Then we go down in the bottom and add that grill here. And at the bottom here, we put the third grill in here. We do have painted um, uh, the bottom of the uh, bumpers. Uh, we do have the painted pieces. Uh, again, this will, these are the three-piece bumper breakaway. So if, this, if you're ever in an accident and you hit this side or the other side, this will not puncture the tires. This will actually pass the tires and still allow you to drive on this um, if needs be to either pull over on the side of the road or get to a safe location. But again, that three piece bumper, if in case you damage any piece of those, you can replace that individual piece. From 2000, the end of 2021, they started putting the LED headlamps in here. So you do have those LED lamps on. It's a little gloomy today, so I turned on those lights so you guys could actually see a little bit of that, how bright those lights are. As we come about, come around the side, you guys can see all the marker lights throughout the side of this truck. All throughout the steps, we got three above the step and four down here, another three over here, and as we go around the vehicle. What we do with Summit Haulers again, when it comes in, we do run it for another PDI. So there's three PDI processes, guys. When the Freightliner truck is built or the chassis is built, Freightliner itself does a PDI, which is a pre-delivery inspection. When it goes to our conversion company, after they're done with everything, they go for another PDI process there again. When it comes here at Transwest, we go for a third PDI. So majority of the times, if Freightliner miss something, conversion will get it. If conversion don't get it, we will get it. So. Hopefully that gives you a peace of mind when purchasing a Summit Hauler. When it comes in, we do go through uh, all our checks. We make sure that the, the PSI on those tires are the recommended PSI. We put auto balances on here. So this is the little disc you see between those tires. We add those nut covers and that center cap. And I like the individual nut covers instead of having that full plate on here. It makes it look a little better. But underneath the hood, we have straps on each side. I heard I could actually open it with one hand. It's pretty um, easy to open. Um, underneath the hood, guys, you're looking at the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It is a L9. Also partnered with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. It also produces 360 horsepower, 1,150 foot pounds of torque. Again, with Freightliner. Uh, everything is clearly labeled. That's one thing I love about this truck is if you go underneath the hood, you could actually see all those labels here. Your fuel water separator, your power steering fluid. You got all your chassis um, fuses over here. Underneath the steering wheel, you'll find all the conversion fuses underneath the steering wheel. And behind the back seat on the back wall, you'll find all the trailer fuses. So everything for the trailer side is on the back wall. So you got three places to find your fuses. Again, whenever people buy those trucks, we go over um, the delivery um, process. I kind of show them all that. 
And sometimes if we miss it because of the excitement of purchasing a vehicle and hitting the road as soon as possible, we miss some stuff, but they always call me. We always do some video chats. I always give them a video where I explain certain things. So it's good to watch those videos before purchasing and even after purchasing a vehicle. So we kind of go in depth with certain things that you guys must have missed. Behind the front tire on the driver's side, you do have positive and negative studs. The reason for that is that those batteries are underneath that back seat. So if you need a clear way to jump somebody very quickly or get jumped, you have access right there instead of having to remove that plate. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But everything is clearly labeled under here. Nice and easy. And again, one thing about those freight liners, it does have that soft close feature. If it's moving a little bit too slow for you, you could just give it a little touch. It will go down a little bit more quicker. And again, you got those straps here, guys. Strap down on either side. As we come around here, we do have fuel tanks on either side. I remember when we had our first set of uh, summit haulers when I first started here four years ago, um, we'd had no covers over our, our, our diesel and def tanks. So we kind of created our new design to have those covers and a lot of people really love that. But one thing I want to mention is that when those doors are open, you do have, um, you have to be careful with the doors or passengers inside coming out while you're fueling. So one thing to be aware of is if anybody, while you're fueling, if anybody wants to come out, have them come out before or after fueling because those doors will make contact with that storage box. This one in particular, the back door is fine, but the front door will hit. So just be careful of that. But again, it will save, it will, it will protect your fuel and death um, from thieves and all that. So this is lockable. You do have a key to access both of those tanks. But a 50 gallon tank over here, a six gallon death tank over here, and a 50 gallon tank on the opposite side. But you could close this up, lock it up, protect your fuel. You have an engine block heater underneath the driver door. You have your trickle charger for your batteries. And when I mentioned the batteries are underneath the back seat, this casing right here will remove. So you have one, two, three, four screws that will remove. That case will come out and then you have full access to those batteries underneath the cab. We have a black interior on this one. We fold in rear seat. Again, this will fold all the way down into a bed. Again, it will go all the way flat. And again, it is DOT certified for a sleeper. So if you decide to take a rest in this truck, you can grab some pillows, some blankets, put them underneath the seat or on top of the seat. And you do have charging options on the middle console here or that centerpiece. Um, you have a, uh, about four USB plugins and two 110 plugins. So there is a inverter on this unit. Look at the door panels before we head out. Those door panels, I really love the design. Again, with the Summit Holler logo stamp on here, we got speakers on all four doors on an angle. So when the sound comes in, it actually goes around a cab and actually it is pretty really good sound as well. We do have that carbon fiber look on our handles and you do have a four point of entry into that cab. It might be a little high up, but using those handles to go in and out of that truck is perfect. Let's talk about a bed for a little bit. When we open up that first storage box, you see an airline, air hose, and then on the opposite side of it, you'll see an airline truck. Uh, you'll plug in your hose into that, and if you need air in your tires, in your trailer, or some of your toys you'll be bringing up to the mountains or wherever, um, you can put air in that. So you do have an onboard airline. All those storage box are lined so moisture don't go inside and it is lockable so all four doors have the same key. Another smaller storage box in the back. Dual tires in the back end with the auto balancers between that. As we come around here we have LED lights throughout this unit. The only lights that will not come on during our light test process is those four center lights, two up top, two on the bottom. There is a switch in here that will turn those lights on. Or if you put that vehicle in reverse, those lights will come on as well. 
super bright at night. I turned it on for a customer just two nights ago when, he, when I was delivering the vehicle after hours. Um, but it was so bright that he was amazed how bright those lights are. Um, this one does come equipped with a gooseneck turnover ball hitch. Again, this is a 2 and 5 16th. You can get a 3-inch ball with this one as well. It is pre-plumbed for um, your glide hand, so all your uh, airlines are right here. Typically, we mount those airlines right next to the license plate holder. So we put it right here, and you have access to your glide hands. The seven pin hookup for your trailer. And just below that, we have your Voyager camera system. Two inch bumper pole hitch. It is rated for 15,000 pounds. We got steps throughout to go in and out of the truck. The storage compartments are the same as the opposite side. And again, this is where your additional 50 gallon tank is. And again with this one, the back door on this one will kind of touch, so you gotta be careful. Because this one is a smaller door and the way it's designed, and the front door again will touch. So just be careful when you fuel in and you have guests, have them come out before or after fueling. We even have lights on your breakaway mirrors. We have dual air horns on top. And we got a huge windshield to show you what it's gonna look like when we get inside. So let's jump inside. I'm gonna jump in the driver's seat. I'm gonna start this truck up and go over some of the interior features. But as you enter, you'll see how much headroom you got on this truck, how much leg room, the design is pretty awesome we do have that curved dash and one of the things I want to mention is the first set of 24s we'll be having some of them will come in that curved dash and then once the, the rest comes in uh, the pluses is gonna be a straight dash so it's not gonna be curved anymore so if you're looking for curved dashes, now is the time to buy uh, with the 23s and the early 24s. Um, so apart from that, once those are done, you wouldn't find a curved dash anymore. So um, if you love that look, now is the time to get into one of those. All right, so with the dash being curved, very easy access to everything. Right now, I'm not even, yeah, I'm at, my driving setting right now. So I can reach everything just with arms reach. We're gonna start from the top. This is our cruise control. What you do, you turn that on, a little orange light will turn on. You have your set and cancel, and you have your accelerate. So I set it, I accelerate. You could actually hear the engine ramping up, and then you cancel that, and then you turn off if you don't wanna use your cruise control. You got your marker light, you got your manual regen button. This truck does it automatically, so you don't have to worry about your regen. But this little important information right here will tell you what to expect when it comes to your regen. So if you see this, um, this light shows up, that means DPF regen needed. And then have some information over here. And then hot exhaust, you'll see that little, little sign over here. Again, you have to be careful not to be on grass or anything like that because the exhaust could cause fire. So you wanna be on, on a hard surface, concrete, asphalt, not on grass. So coming down here, you got your DPF refill needed. So one thing I always like to mention is those three or four green squares. So with that, um, once you start going down and or losing that fluid while you're driving, those squares will disappear until it goes down to one. It will turn orange and then red. You do not want it to turn red. So typically I always tell people fill up, once it's half and you go into a, a fuel station, just fill up your def tank. It's only six gallons, so uh, fill it up. So you have all your different gauges here. You got your oil gauge, water transmission. And then of course you got your fuel. 
and then you got your a primary and secondary air tanks. So this one has two air tanks. Um, this cab is air ride. The seats are air ride. The suspension is air ride. Um, so and plus we have that onboard air, so you could um, put air in your tires and stuff. So plus you got air brakes on this truck too. So you need those two air airlines on this truck. When it comes to your engine brake. The switches are right on the right hand side of the steering wheel. Again, different trucks would have it in different areas. This particular truck have it right behind the steering wheel. This will turn it on and you'll see that orange light on top. And then you have your low and high. And then of course, once that light is off and it's down, it's off, your engine brake is off. This is your Allison six speed automatic transmission. You do have a plus and minus uh, arrows over here. If you press both of those together you will see a bunch of information and right now I just warming up the truck so the oil levels you cannot because the temperature is too low so once it warms up you will see all your all temperatures are okay then of course your oil life right now is 99% filters transmission health any codes that will pop up on your transmission will show up here this truck has no codes and of course back to neutral you could actually switch it to a manual mode as well if you want to change the gears yourself. You put it into mode and then you could actually change your gears. Back down, increase, whatever the case may be. Traction control, rear differential lock. You got four switches here for your windows. So these two on top is for the front and these two back here is for the back. Power locks lock unlock heated mirrors red dump so it does have a valve here to dump all your air when you're backing into your trailer your light test button and those four lights i showed you earlier two on top and two at the bottom on the bed that optional switch here will turn on those lights you do have red ac and heat and this is your fan switch i've always had calls after delivering a vehicle or if a vehicle left left here without having that delivery um, process with the customer because the customer rather it delivered to them they will call me and ask me questions about this again the red and blue so the red is for heat the blue is for cold center will turn it off once that is on this one over here is for fans so you have a high medium and low and then you will hear it you'll hear a fan blowing um, the different uh, levels the four USB plugins over here, those are for charging only. Down here, we got a little plastic case covering a USB and a HDMI um, plugin. The USB is for Apple or Android capability for your Stinger stereo. And your HDMI, if you want to plug in a PlayStation, you want to plug in a, a DVD player, you could use that HDMI plug. And then of course, you'll see that HDMI feature over here it will play whatever you have plugged in into your HDMI. We do deal with the Red Arc trailer brake system on our trucks now. I've seen a lot of pickups now um, getting into the Red Arc system. I think Ford is starting to have those in the trucks and a, a, a few other brands. So Red Arc is building their brand and we, we believe in Red Arc. It's a nice small system out of your way, it's not bulky. It fits perfectly on that dash. And that black knob right here is for your subwoofer. We do have a subwoofer underneath that back seat. So that's it, that's to increase or decrease the volume on that sub. I know a lot of customers are into sound right now and always question me about how well the sound is on those trucks. And again, we do have Kenwood speakers on the doors and we do have a nice sub underneath the back seat with a couple amplifiers. So this sound on this truck is pretty awesome. And one thing about the sound too, when you go into your settings and your sound settings, you have options here to use an equalizer and you could actually tune this the way you want it. It does have a crossover feature as well for front, rear and sub. Again, time correction, you got all of this, you got back to your factory EQ. So if you wanna, all the presets already there. And of course you have your audio settings like your car. If you wanna just hear music in the back, or uh, if you want to only hear music in the front because somebody in the back is sleeping, 
you have that, or you could just go center and just have that full um, surround sound feature. Again, when it comes to the subwoofer, if you don't get sound for this or it doesn't work, come in here, make sure the subwoofer is on, make sure your phase is at the right degree that you want it, and of course the sub level. I typically have it on max because I could control it with this um, knob right here. When it comes to the stereo system, let's go back here. This one does have onboard navigation. So if you don't want to use your phone, you could actually use that. When you go to certain cities and stuff, you'll actually see buildings on the navigation. Right now, it's uh, feeding through the satellite and it will load pretty soon. But again, with onboard navigation, it does help very well. And again, you could put your weight, your height, and all that different information in there. And you don't have to worry about driving into the wrong freeway or highway because of your weight and height so all that will, will guide you right to the right direction it does have xm and satellite radio um, am fm um, you do have the option of uh, bluetooth as well if you don't want to use your apple or android play um, you could use your phone via bluetooth and of course if you want to add more cameras we have the voyager camera system up here but on this there on this on the stinger it does have options for cameras as well so if you want to add a ton of cameras you have cameras on the voyager camera system which is four and then on this you could actually do another four so you could actually do signal um signal cameras or front and rear so you do have the option here um for that so right now there's no signal so you won't see anything but when it comes to storage, we have cup holders, two up front, two in the back, one on the side. It's a little hidden feature over here. But we do have a storage box in here with a LED headlamp, nice and bright. As we're talking about light, we got light throughout this truck. We got the regular white lights, we got the red lights for nighttime. We do have it also in the back. We have a reading light option over here. And then we do have that mood light. Again, I call this the infinity lighting. Really cool feature at night. And I was happy I, when I delivered that vehicle a couple of nights ago, um, turning those lights on at night really is really cool. So right now, it, it's pretty cool, but when it's dark outside and the inside this vehicle is dark and you turn those lights on, it's amazing. So really cool feature. I love that we do that. And again, you do have storage pockets up here and over here. Some of those trucks will come with a flat piece over here. Um, we could order those um, pieces for inside of there for you, or you could use this option for when you're mounting your CB radio. So either way, um, that information will be up here. Um, so again, this is a 2023 Freightliner M2106 Summit Hollow Conversion. Um, you, you can find those in a 112. You can find those in a 4x4 106. You can build a 4x4 112, but there is a long process behind it. And of course, the upcharge in price. So again, I've never built one since I've been here on the 4x4, um, the 112 4x4, but I've had, had some interest in guys wanting to build one, but never actually went through the process. But it is a longer process to build one of those. And of course, it is kind of pricey as well. Um, but again, we do have that option. So if you guys are interested in any of our um, units right now, we do have a few white ones on the lot. We do have this red one. We got a, another blue one coming in. We got a brown one coming in. And then of course, right after that, um, as, the, as the months go by, we should be seeing our 2024s popping in one by one. Um, but we have some good prices on these trucks right now. So give us a call today. Um, we do offer financing. Uh, we do have long-term financing as well. Uh, we do take trade-ins. We do offer deliveries throughout the whole of the U.S. So feel free to reach out to us. If you are in Canada, um, we can get that back at the border for you as well. And I think right now we can go into Canada. I'm not 100% sure. Don't take my word for it. But we can deliver it to the border for you. Um, so if you want to pick it up there. But in the meantime, thank you guys for tuning in today. Um, we got lots to show you guys as the months go by. And as those uh, 24 pluses come in, um, it'll be a really nice unit to look at. But thank you guys for tuning in today. I'll see you guys next time for another video. Have a wonderful weekend. And of course, a great and prosperous 2024. Have a good day.